What's up guys, welcome back to the Blind Box Town. I have another comic book haul for you guys, and this one I got actually off of eBay. It's a hundred, hundred comics lot bundle of all Marvel and DC from 2014 to 2017. It's a true, it says true random, 450 value, uh, and it's insane apparently. It's a 5888 plus 650 shipping and handling, which I find a really good price. That leaves it like a bit of a... 150 a comic, I believe. A buck fifty a comic. No, much less than that. I don't know. My my calculations are wrong. But yeah, it's a hundred comics. They're all recently like newer comics. Um, a lot of variant covers and stuff. This one is the Mighty Thor number one. I actually have this one, but that's the type of stuff that you'll see in here. The eBay seller looking for stuff is Wibbit. So W-I-B-B-I-T if you guys are interested in this. I bought this because I was curious in like how many doubles are I'm going to get from the last one that he actually sent me. Which I ordered a two twenty twenty dollar Yeah, two twenty comic ones. Which was uh, much less. But I thought I'd share this with you guys because if you're like really into variant covers and stuff. You might really like this. I mainly got a lot of Marvel stuff, not that much DC. Um, I feel like this is something I would order every... If I ever run out of comics, just to see what else I can get. And if, like, the second time I get more of the same doubles and stuff, I would probably stop ordering from him. But for now, I barely have any of this stuff. So, yeah. So, uh, right now I'm going to show you all the duplicates that I got. So, like this one, the Mighty Thor number 1. Amazing Spider-Man 1 Civil War number 2. Um, this one I actually got from him as well, and the last one, if you guys seen the last videos, you would see these. Uh, Mighty Thor number 8, and Mighty Thor number 4. So like always guys, I do, um, I'm going to look for the better copy, so I'm going to compare these to what I have and keep the better copy, but I do have, since these are like doubles of them, I'm probably going to put them, I don't know, if I, if this video can get to, let's say, 200 likes by June, March, by April. That'll give you like a whole, no, let's say a month from when I upload this video. Yeah, a month from when I upload this video, because I don't know when I'm going to upload this video. Actually... I don't know if I want to keep that promise. No, never mind, because um, since I upload these videos super late, it's probably not going to happen. I do want to do some sort of giveaway though. So like when I get into a better schedule of uploading the videos. Like weekly or something. So I'm probably going to like switch these doubles off with Owl. And get some newer comics to tell you the truth. So it's, ignore all that first part. I'm sorry if I got your hopes up. Ignore all that first part. But I do want to do some sort of giveaway with you guys. Uh, if you guys tell me what type of giveaway you want. I'll probably save up for it. But yeah. So, again, let's get back into this. Sorry about the long talk. Uh, Secret Empire, number one. The Avengers Stop, Stomp Out bull Bullying variant. I actually got that variant, too. Then the Avengers 35. The Avengers 16. The new Avengers 2 out of 2. Uh, then Punisher, number 8. The Astonishing Ant-Man, number 5. Amazing Spider-Man, 17. Uh, 3. 2. 1.1. This is Civil War, number 7. Cool thing about these Civil War ones. I'm thinking, I haven't read all the different back ones. But the backs are like these. Like this. So it would be cool with the x-ray x-ray backboard which I think I'm gonna probably get because I'm getting a lot of cooler like wrap arounds and little back things like this I don't know if maybe it's like giving you a small synopsis of what's happening currently in that issue or not but I'm gonna see as soon as I read these then Punisher number one this is a variant one I actually kept the variant because I really like the way that looks so a lot of these I may not like reading them but I am keeping the variant I'm gonna read it and if I like the variant, I'm just going to keep it for that, to tell you the truth. Uh, Thanos vs. Hulk. 
Uh, Infinity Guardians team up. Sorry, Guardians three thousand. Little Avengers versus X Men. Marvel, Little Marvel. Scotty Young covers, man. Remember, these are already like doubles I already have, or stuff I'm not gonna read. Suicide Squad number one, Black Knight number one, Dark Vader number one. I bet someone would like that one, right? Captain America number two, Steve Rogers Captain America, uh, Steve Rogers Captain America number three, and, and number five. So something I wanted to ask: the Civil War storyline arc is this part of like the original volume? Or is it onto a second volume? Because I have some amazing Spider-Mans you're going to see later on. But they are like lower numbers that I already have. So I'm not sure if they're like part of the storyline. Or if it's a whole separate storyline going to it. Uncanny and Humans number one. Hawkeye number one. The Vision number two. The Visions number two. I actually may see if I can find older uh, volumes of that because... I was looking through it. I kind of wish I picked it up when they were like uh, 50 cents a piece at Owl's. And it looks kind of interesting. It's like them trying to fit in. Radioactive Spider Gwen number two. Axis number one. Infinity Gauntlet two. Which I thought I... I don't know if I have that or not. I think I do. Uh, I, Invincible Iron Man number 12. Number six. And number one, this is what I'm talking about with the cool wraparounds. Like that. So you see it going around. Those are the cool ones. All new X Men number one. Astonishing X Men number one. Original Sins number one. Scotty Young variant. So I do have one of those too. And then the Howling Commandos Shield number one. I actually had a. In the haul, this is the only double I actually got. And they look like. There's nothing different between them, so I don't think the other one's a variant or anything. But that's the only double I actually got in this haul. Which is not bad. One double out of a hundred. So, it makes me think if these are already prepackaged and then they just pick them up and then put them in. I think it said on there that he has a lady that picks them out. But, that's interesting that I actually got one double. And these ones I'm kind of excited for. So Spider-Verse, Spider-Verse, The Amazing Spider-Man, number 10, a variant edition for the Ultimate Spider-Man Web Warriors on Disney XD. These ones are kind of pretty cool. And then here's number 11. The Q's number one. I'm going to give that a read and see how I like it. Origins number two. I mean number one. Origins two, number one. A-Force number one. This is actually a, a volume two for that set. Uh, the Infinity Gauntlet number one. Age of Apocalypse number one. I kind of like, I don't know why. I am digging the art style of this. It's very like edgy-ish, I guess. I don't know why I, I, I kind of like this. So it'll be interesting to find more. Then I have all new X-Men, a variant of number one. Uh, variant of number two, variant number nine. This is what I'm saying. Look at all these variants, and uh, that's an amazing X Men. This is an all new X Men number one annual, and an uncanny X Men number one annual. Then I have a fallen number fallen one. So this is number one. I believe this is the original cover because then I actually get. A variant edition cover of it. Then Original Sins number one. As you saw, I actually got the Scotty Young cover. And then here's another variant cover. And then these variant covers I actually like of the Original Sins. I really like how they are. How they're how they're drawn. Push that to the side. So these ones, I don't I, I really like the whole collage of them. So, Original Sins, number three. These are variant covers. Number four. They kind of look like they could, like... No. <gasps> they do! Oh my gosh, look at that. 
so they connect side by side to each other. It's one continuous long variant cover. Oh my god, and number five. It's almost like um the Trinity stuff where you can like connect the one to each other. That is so cool. But yeah, I love I like these covers. I kinda I'm not gonna go hunting for them, but these are really nice covers and I like how they do connect to each other. So if you like really love these, you can display them up in frames or whatever and have them next to each other so you have one continuous long um print. Then this is what I was talking about, Howling Commandos number one. But then I have number two, this is a variant cover. And number three, it says another variant edition. Then Suicide Squad Rebirth. So I do have one. This, I believe, is a different cover, though. So this is one of the variant covers. I have to double check and make sure, but I believe so. Because the original one has them in photographs. Here's a Supergirl number one of Rebirth. There's a bit of a damage up there. And then you can see a little bit of dirt right here. Then Justice League number one, Rebirth. And then here, see, here's another Supergirl. This one's in better condition. But Supergirl number one, there's like a hole of her right there. And then there's this one. So. It shows, if you're like a variant cover collector, or if you want to get like all the different variant covers, that's why I feel like this guy was worth sharing. Uh, Flash number five. Then Batman number one. This one says free. So did they do like a free comic book day thing of this one? Because it says free on it, so I don't know. Or do they just give them out? But there's that. He also had some, I got like three different Scotty Young covers of uh, these and I actually got one or two of them originally so here's Electra number one and then the Iron Patriot number one I kinda I really wanna get all the different Scotty Young covers just because I I like them I really do they are so interesting to me then Guardians 3000 number two Nova Special number one this right here was actually bent upward, so I hope it flattens out. I think you can see a little bit of a crease right here. Then Planet Hulk, number one. I may actually read this. The inside looked pretty cool. I was looking through it. To the side, to the side. Then Nightcrawler, number one, a variant edition. See? Like this? I don't think I would normally read Nightcrawler, but I do like how the variant edition comic looks like. So I'll give it a read, but I am still keeping this. Then a Hercules number one. Apparently this is a variant edition. I would have never known that if it didn't tell me. Then Scarlet Witch number three. I actually looked through it to see if I would like it. At the beginning of the art style I don't really like, but near the end it actually gets really cool. So I'm hoping that the rest of the I'm hoping that the series would be like that. But I'm going to give it a read, see if I like it or not. Howard the Duck, number one. This is a variant edition. I'm going to actually see if I, I like Howard the Duck. I've never read any of Howard the Duck. Or maybe I did. I have. So, I have. And I know I have a variant edition cover of the Spider-Gwen for Howard the Duck. So I'm going to read, see I like it. The, the inside I really like. This one, I don't think I'm going to like the story for it. But I don't know. But Katie Cook did the cover for this. And she does a lot of My Little Pony covers. So I know I'm going to keep this one as well. Like I said, I am going to give it a read of Moon Knight. But I'm going to keep this just for that Katie Cook cover right there. Unbeatable Squirrel Girl. So only our second number one so far this year. Number one. I have a feeling this is of volume two of the whole thing. And these ones. Okay, these ones are pretty cool. So, Civil War 2. Round 2. This is a PX exclusive Comic Con. PX previews exclusive. San Diego Comic Con 2016. And then I like how it's like a little fight showdown. And then here is round 1. Again, is a PX Comic Con exclusive. So, those are cool right there. And uh, round five. And then some more. So, 
These are variant covers, right? Because then you have the regular Civil War 2. I gotta read them and see. But if they are, tell me. Because that would be really cool. So there's number 8. Here's another variant edition for number 8. This one's a Retailer Summit 2016 exclusive. This one's of number 6. And then this one. This one, I think, is the coolest one ever. It's a number 3. It's a variant edition. It's of Hulk. This is what I'm talking about when I say I need the wraparound covers. So, originally, it came in a bag with this on top of it. I put it inside just so I can keep the barcode. But, it's of Hulk. And it's a sick wraparound. I hope you guys saw that. A really awesome wraparound. But, because they don't have an x-ray backing, it goes in here. And you don't get to see the good part. Like, I think I'm gonna... Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I wanna order... I know it's like... 10 for 15 or something online. I don't really remember. But I do want to order some. Maybe 20 for the first time. Look for all my really cool wraparounds and do it. Or something like that. Like I want to do a big run of them. Because I know I have a lot of cool wraparounds. And a, a bunch of these Civil War ones. Which has a nice little synopsis backing. There's number two. Number one. But this is a second printing. So what I can find about Marvel... Usually the first printing's red, the second printing's blue, the third printing's yellow, and all that. And they will tell you what printing it is. So this is a second printing of it. Ooh, this is heavy. We're almost through. We're almost at the 100. Then Civil War II, number one. This is a uh, Hot Wheels edition of it. Yeah, it's Hot Wheels. So you can see there's Captain America, Iron Man, Punisher. I believe that's going to be Thor... Who's that one? Is that gonna be? It's a skull. I don't think that's um. Ghost Rider, right? That's Spidey, and I don't know what that one is. But yeah. Then another Civil War number zero PX previews comic San Diego Comic Con exclusive to, from 2016. I got actually three of these in this haul, so. Yeah, that is awesome. Then uh, Amazing Spider-Man Annual number one. Amazing Spider-Man number one. This one though, boy howdy. So you can see there's a bit of damage right here. So that's a bit of a bummer. But look, I was trying to put this with the board. It didn't fit with the board. I had to take it out for it to fit into this bag. So it either means I need a thicker bag for this so I can put it in with the board. And this is what I'm talking about. So, Amazing Spider-Man number 3, but it's a Civil War 2. So, I don't know if that's like a whole different series. I have to recheck. But if it is, just tell me down in the comments. Comment. 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 I want to call the comments. Comics. Yeah. So, all new, all different Avengers annual number 1. I think this is a... Is this a wraparound? Oh, no, it's not. Okay. It looks like it, right? It blends so seamlessly into the back. I thought it was going to be a wraparound and you see Hulk in the back. Then we have Secret Wars. Number one, another variant edition. Number two, a variant edition. Number five, a variant edition. See how many variants I get? I like how Marvel tells you that it's a variant. I think DC should do that. Because they have a couple of cool variants too, but they don't really tell you. Just in small writing, it's a variant. Inhumans. Inhumans. Stomp out bullying. I got a couple of these already. The stomp out bullying covers, they are really cute. Captain America number 25, a stomp out bullying cover. Captain America number 1, a rocking group cover. And that's the all new Captain America. And here's another all new Captain America. Which is a variant edition. I don't know of who though. Is that like... Who is that? Is that like a governor or something that I don't know about? I don't know. That's not Coulson, right? I don't think that is. Um, but yeah, I would like to know 
who's on this cover? Because I don't know who that is. But that is a Captain America on number one. So, that is all 100 comics. Comic, comments. See, now I'm saying comics for comments. What the f... Ooh. I'm cringing because of that. But yeah. As you saw, I mainly got Marvel stuff, so... If you're going to order from him, I'm thinking that you're going to get a lot more Marvel stuff than you are going to get of uh, DC. I feel like DC sells better in uh, comic books than Marvel does. Because I feel like DC storyline is better.